Hello there. It looks like Nicola Sturgeon's policy to immediately apply for EU membership if Scottish independence is achieved hasn't percolated very far down the line. The First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, has a plan and that is an SNP government would immediately apply for membership of the EU without holding a referendum should the country achieve Skexit and cause a UK breakup. But her Scottish Constitution Secretary and President of the SNP, Mike Russell, now says it would depend on the circumstances and that it might be desirable to hold a referendum first before applying to join the EU. And you can see why. Right now, the SNP and Alex Salmond of the Alaba Party are saying the people of Scotland can have the best of both worlds. They're being promised free travel and trade with both the EU and the UK. The Scots are being told they'll have something that no other part of the EU has. But with the EU playing hardball with the UK, a so-called independent Scotland ruled from Brussels would become another weaponised part of this growing EU-UK spat. That border would become as hard as Brussels could make it. The Berlin Wall would look like tissue paper in comparison. OK, that is a bit OTT, but you do get my drift. I reckon it would end up being far easier to export stuff to the rest of the EU for rerouting into an independent Scotland than getting it through an England-Scotland border. Something the EU and the ardent Scots Nats would love to see. While on the UK side, just like today, all attempts would be made to ease the problems. But Scotland would be a third country to the rest of the UK and must expect to be treated as such. So the question is, would it be right for Nicola Sturgeon to simply bounce Scotland into the EU without the fully informed say-so of the Scottish people? So what's your opinion on this? Please like and comment below.